You guys want to see what real CTE looks like? Huh? Do you guys want to see what real CTE looks like? I think you do, right? I think you want to see what real CTE looks like. I'm, I'm sure most of you want to see this. This is what real CTE looks like. Three. Yeah. And, and it hurts my heart that they got to sit through there and, and they, their family members are... My brother, my brother Arthur, not John, Arthur, he's the one that put me in a psych ward. Yo, he thought, he's the oldest? He's the oldest. He thought something was real, really wrong with me, though. He thought he had friends. I had a friend that was living in my house. He thought she was closer than she, what she was. Mm. That's the one you can call a uh, good head and good pussy. Because <laughs> she, I, get, I, I told her to get in my house. I told her she could, you can live in my house while, while I play in Vegas for a year, stay in my house. This bitch told my brother, this bitch went and told my brother, oh, uh, he's Chandler's being, he's suicidal and he's homicidal. So he took her word and said, all right, I'm, the, I'm Chandler's guardian. I'm 33 years old. I don't need no fucking guardian. I'm Chandler's guardian. We're we going to put him in a psych ward. I was in there for three fucking weeks, no phone call, sitting there jacking off, coming on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the thought of meant to, yeah. Oh, yeah thought, you laughing. Yeah, Look at my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you serious. The yeah. thought of. That's what you call real CTE. That is real CTE. <laughs> Imagine, imagine working in a psych ward and looking at the CCTV cameras and there's one of your patients in there who's jacking off every single day for the whole, what, three weeks he's in there or something or whatever, three months. Imagine what you were thinking through your head. Like, we can't let this, we like, we can't let this guy out. He's jacking off every single day, maybe four times a day, <laughs> just busting on himself. <laughs> You're like, we can't let this guy out. We can't. <laughs> but I'm sure there's a limit to how long they can actually keep you. So, like, we have to let him out at some point. But can we really? Like, <laughs> sir, boss, he's jacking up all over himself like five times. <laughs> one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Like us three. Yeah. And, and it hurts my heart that they got to sit through there and, and they, their family members are my brother, my brother Arthur. Not John Arthur. He's the one that put me in a psych ward. Yo, he thought, he's the oldest. He's the oldest. He thought something was real, really wrong with me, though. He thought he had friends. I had a friend that was living in my house. He thought she was closer than she what she was. Mm. That's the one you can call a uh, good head and good pussy. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, I get, I, I told her to get in my house. I told her she could. You can live in my house while, while I play in Vegas for a year. Stay in my house. This bitch told my brother. This bitch went and told my brother. Oh, uh, he's Chandler's being. He's suicidal and he's homicidal. So he took her word and said, all right, I'm, the, I'm Chandler's guardian. I'm 33 years old. I don't need no fucking guardian. I'm Chandler's guardian. We're we going to put him in a psych ward. I was in there for three fucking weeks, no phone call, sitting there jacking off, coming on myself. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the thought of meant to, yeah. Oh, yeah thought, you laughing. Yeah, Look at my face. Yeah, you serious. <laughs> Oh, brilliant, isn't it? Fucking brilliant, man. Honestly, fucking brilliant, bro. Fucking brilliant. Big up fucking Chandler Jones. That's actual CTE. Fucking brilliant. People that just get them on loads of pods. I don't care how exploitive it is. I don't care how fucking insensitive it is. Just get them on pods. Get them talking. Because, you know, once they're gone, they're gone, isn't it, really? Um, <laughs> so while they're here, we might as well just enjoy that fucking brain adult brain, that brain adult or that brain full of holes, that brain that's going to end up looking like Swiss cheese by the time the, you know, doctors flipping, um, you know, open it up, you know, you get me by the time they open that shit up, that shit's going to look like fucking Swiss cheese. Um, one more, one more before we continue, one more before we continue, because I thought this was a pretty interesting video too. And this kind of depicted what I think in general. <laughs> um, watch this video and I want you to tell me what your immediate feelings are. Because I kind of oscillated between, oh, that, feel, that feels, that's so cute. Oh my God, that's lovely. And whoa, that's kind of creepy. Let me know what you guys felt. Or maybe I'm being a little bit, you know, a little bit simpy. But I felt that's kind of cute. And also that's very creepy. But let me know what you guys think about this. 
Why hey, don't you just why don't you just date a famous chick? They'd be more chill. You know, you famous, you rich. You know, <laughs> get a famous chick. You heard him? Did y'all hear him? Who you want? Who you want? J Lo. Who? You, yeah, <laughs> she's a little bit too J- old for you. You got a every girl. Up. Every girl that I talk to, every girl that knows me, every girl that I talk to, they all they all want to get married. But I always tell them, if Jeanette Akel's ever available, you got to slide. Jeanette Akel? If Jeanette Akel's ever available. Hey, who's, you, that? who's that? You think you could lay? I might have got way too high. high. I don't know who that one is. You don't know who that Jeanette Akel is? I think I heard that hey, name. Hey, Vinny, pull up Jeanette Akel. I might have got way too high. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, oh my. yeah, yeah, she bad. My oh, milk yeah. of magnesia. <laughs> yeah, 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 my sure. milk of magnesia. Look at her. And we got the same scar under our lips. And we got is matching. Is she single? Technique. I don't. I don't care. Why don't you just DM her, yeah, yeah. bro? Why you just oh, she's with Big Sean. I don't want to uh, do. Okay, yeah. I don't want to DM her. Wow. That's Big Sean right there, nigga. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Lil Sean. Did that echo five five? He what five six? <laughs> <laughs> you think you got a better chance than Big Sean? Nah, that's his, if that's his lady. I think that's his lady. I don't want to disrespect, but I love. Oh, her. they had a, they had an on and off, her. on again relationship. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. What do you got? No way. We don't want to see no whoa, 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 Keep it whoa. all in your pants. This is a family you. show. Yeah. Let me show y'all something real quick. This is gonna be real quick because I'm in love. All right, but no body parts. It's my. She got my whole arm. She got my right arm. That's how much you love her. That's her whole name. That's her whole name right there. Oh damn! Wait, what? Janae Echo Afiro Chalumbo. <laughs> wait, why? Wait, hold on. Time out. Wait, why do you have her name tattooed on you? That's my wife. That's my spiritual wife. <laughs> Oh, he might end up. He might end up getting. Her. Wait, because you like her music? Is that why? Is that yeah, what inspired we, it's you? It's not even her music. Like I connect with her in a way where, like, <laughs> have you ever met her? I've never met her. I never even communicated with this woman. But like, it's just like whenever I listen to her music, whenever I think of her, it just give me calm frequency. Yeah, but if y'all can that. play that song "Frequency" by her, no, don't play it, but listen to it. No, but I get what you're saying. Because this morning when we were having breakfast, you're like, no, no, put this song on so I can relax a little bit. Yeah, yeah and, and that who was that playing? So, Janaka. I mean, listen, sometimes people need music to relax. I need her to relax. And why, why you in this slide in her DMs? Yeah, I know. That's, that's, she's a celebrity. How do I do that? I don't know. Man, you a celebrity. Yeah, what? I'm not a celebrity. She got like 8 million followers. I only got 700,000. Oh, who cares, bro? Yeah, yeah. You got a Super Bowl world championship. You play for Bill look Belichick. At her. Just look at her. Look at her. I you played for Bill me. Belichick. Hey, she's talk a, to me about Brady. Oh, she's a songwriter as well? Yeah, she writes her own music, bro. You listen to her songs. She writes her own shit? Yeah, what do you... Th- so what you say, as I speak these frequencies, as I sing these frequencies, she speak to me. That's her saying that. Yeah, she's saying it to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he gassing you up. You should slide her DM. Yeah, hey. yeah, hey, do it right now. Let me see your phone. I'll do it for you. Yes, I'll do it for you. Hey, no. you missed Because what if she's with Big Sean? Who, who can? You just say, hey, I like your music. Bro, you're on the Jackson podcast. Let's do it right now. Janae Aiko, no. slide in my man's DMs. No, I don't He's 6'7". Because look, what if what if Big Sean, what if they might get married? What if you propose to her tomorrow? Then Big Sean going to write a diss song against you. you need, uh, listen, if if Big Sean don't propose tomorrow, I'm sliding in them DMs. All right, 24-hour countdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And guess what? They're both celebrities, so if he proposes, it's going to be all out. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Not Bre- tomorrow. I'll give, I'll give him like- Give him 24 end, hours. End of the month. Because I think they just had a baby, too. So. Oh, they just had a baby? Yeah, I think they had a baby. So it's an on and off again relationship. They got a son. That's a hard one. It's on and off? That's what it said. I think. Oh, it said on and off? Yes. <laughs> I think he says, yeah, all right. Yeah, I. As Blueface would say, yeah, I. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Nigga, you got, a whole, you got a whole name tattooed on you. Even her middle name. I didn't even know she had a fucking middle name. I just call it Jenny Aiko. This nigga out here, I think she's got a kid. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> I don't want to see too high. <sighs> oh my God, brother. I watched that video and I was like, you know what? I kind of get why sh- women are scared of men. I kind of get why some women are scared of men. I kind of get it. I kind of understand why women are honestly in fear of men because this guy is really successful. To some women, he'd be incredibly good looking, very, um, what do you think? What's that word called? A very eligible bachelor, right? He's a stud athlete. He's tall. He's muscular. He's got loads of money, right? On paper, he's all, all, all flags are fucking green. Go, 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 go. But, he might just wake up in the morning and just cover your face with a pillow. <laughs> you might look at him the wrong way and he might stab you with some scissors. He might choke you on the fucking kitchen counter. 
<laughs> he might throw a toaster in the bath while you're just having a nice little soak after work. At any moment, your life could be over. <laughs> At any moment. <laughs> but on paper, he's a, he's amazing on paper. On amazing, he's a paper. On amazing, he's a paper. On amazing, he's a... Oh, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? On amazing, he's a paper. On paper, he's amazing. But if he snaps, it's over. Unless you're built like Serena Williams, you don't stand a chance. If he decides it's over for you, it's over for you. You know? If he decides it's over for you and your family, it's over. Everybody dies. Go find me for everybody. Airbrush t-shirts. People letting doves off into the air. It's done. Your whole family is dead. <laughs> if he wakes up one day in a bad mood. <laughs> I get why women are scared of men. I understand it completely. <laughs> Cause oh, that's brilliant. Bruh. Have you ever seen that in your life? Like, do you remember when Drake got his tattoos and everyone's looking at him weird? When Drake got a tattoo of like I forgot who he got tattoos of. Drake Drake got tattoos of like all these all these um all these uh musicians that he's fans of, right? I think it was like Sade, Sade and a few other people, right? I don't know who else, but everyone thought that was weird. Imagine getting a name of somebody, full name on your body that you don't know. With Drake's tattoos, it makes kind of makes sense, right? You're a musician, you look up to these people, you get them on your body, whatever. But imagine getting someone's full name on your body, full government name. Do you know how insane that is? <laughs> I fucking love this guy, honestly. Nah, nah, don't get that, Assad. Don't do that, please. For the love of God, don't do that. I'm not Rogan. I'm not gonna retweet your pictures of my of tattoos and stuff. If you do that, I'll block you instantly. And I don't block anybody. I don't believe in blocking. I think blocking's for the weak. I mean, I, feel, I believe blocking's for the pussies out there, isn't it? The pussies out there that can't handle people saying things that they, they don't like are the ones that are blocking. I don't usually block. But if you send me a picture of your of you getting a tattoo of me, I'm going to block you. I'm going to block you and I'm going to report you for harassment. <laughs> I'm going to report you for harassment. That's what I'm going to do. Like, nah, no no tattoos of me. I, I, don't, I don't approve of that stuff at all. Zero. I don't approve of that stuff. Now, what I do approve of, if you get a tattoo of your partner, I approve of that. I approve of getting a fucking big portrait of your husband or your wife on your face. I fucking, I think that's, that's real commitment. Like, that's actually like, hey, I'm down for you for real. Like, I'm in this for the long run. You know what I mean? We're not playing games. I like that kind of, I think it's like, it's more like a Mexican thing, right? They get like tattoos of like their partners or pictures of their kids and shit on their face. I love that shit. That's like, yeah, that's my, that's me familia. You know what I mean? These are my, that's my fili familia. Familia. I love that shit, but just getting some random person you don't know, tattoos on you, like, anyway, I don't want to get too high, <laughs> that nigga is fucking fried, bro, his brain must look like a fucking omelette, I swear to God, <laughs> he's fucking fried, oh, bro, <clears throat> One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, <laughs> one more. <laughs> I don't want to get too high. <laughs> but, oh, I fucking love him, man. I fucking love him. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. He thinks CTE is fake. But, but going into your conversation of the CTE thing, I think it's funny. And me and Antonio Brown were actually going to run a, a podcast called CTE Podcast because they're saying that we both have CTE. So um, I don't know the other two words, the other two words in the acronym CTE, but I know the T stands for trauma. And I know it's not blunt force trauma. I know it doesn't also mean that you got hit in the head too many times. That doesn't mean that CTE is not real. I don't believe it's real. Cause we didn't um, hear about it back in the day. It's not real. No. CT is not real. The T and trauma could be being from being molested as a kid, from from things that you went through as a, from high school, and that could be trauma, mental trauma, emotional trauma, but not blunt force. Got punched in the head. Got too many tackles in the head. But but, but going. <laughs> Just the way he's talking, he's already got CTE, right? The way he's stuttering. <laughs> <Over these words. laughs> 
<laughs> it's like the lady doth protest too much. The lady doth protest too much, bro. Even you can't even get the sentences out. <laughs> like, <laughs> me and Antonio Brown are gonna start a podcast. That is a sentence that I want to hear at the beginning of twenty four, twenty twenty four. That is the best sentence I've heard this year. Me and Antonio Brown are gonna start a podcast. I fucking love that shit. Please start that podcast. I want an I want an Antonio Brown and a Chandler Jones podcast where they comment on weekly topics, you know, on on cultural topics weekly. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear that podcast, and I will pay money to listen to that. I'm subscribing to your Patreon. I'm subbing on your fucking kick. I want to hear that pod. I want to fucking hear it. That's that's what podcast should be about. Not fucking you know Joe, Joe Rogan t- telling you about fucking you know telling you about entrepreneurism or whatever had to be an entrepreneur not brendan Shaw talking to you about hard work and fucking work ethnic and shit nah i want to listen to chandler jones and you know antonio brown talk about the war in fucking um the war in ukraine <laughs> i want to hear them talking about what's going on in fucking congo i want to hear them comment on some celebrity that just passed away i want to hear i want to hear that shit that's what i want to hear i want to hear chandler jones and ab given the lowdown on what they think about some award season that just happened or some big topic in fucking hip-hop that's what i want to hear about that's what i want to hear about fucking hell that is brilliant bro absolutely brilliant i can't you gotta love that <clears throat> oh fucking hell i love it i love everything about it <laughs>